I'm Brian Phillips with Swell Guy Customs, and today we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna show you how to customize a bar stool. The bar stools we're working with today are your typical black bar stools. They're made out of a faux leather, and just like your sneakers, you're gonna have to prep them. But keep in mind, because it's furniture, it's got a thick layer of sealant on it to protect that leather. So we're gonna go in with the Angelus Leather Preparer and Deglazer about four to six different times to make sure I really got that coating off. Now that I'm done prepping the cushions, you can see there's a bit of a smudgy residue left on the cushions. I'm gonna counter that by hitting it with a layer of some flat black to give it a nice even finish. Since I'm gonna be using stencils today, I wanna to protect that flat black layer, so I'm gonna go over it with a matte acrylic finisher to give it some added protection. For the design on the cushion, I wanna represent the history of Angelus. So we're gonna go with the classic Angelus seal that's been around since its inception in 1907. Because we're working with a very specific logo, I'm gonna go the stencil route. I created my stencil previously at home using my Cricut die cut machine and brought it here at Angelus to the studio. So the first step with the stencil is I need to remove all the vinyl for the areas that I want paint to touch the cushion. Then I'm gonna take my transfer tape and put it over the stencil to help me place it onto the cushion. Once I have my cushion taped off to avoid overspray, I can start going into my base coats. Now there's two methods to doing this. Some people will just go in with white and do about seven to eight different coats to make sure they get a full stark white on a black background. Another way to do this that might be a little easier for you and get you a cleaner finish is to start with a light gray base, about two or three coats, and then you can go on with white for another two. Some of the benefits of using this method is one, there's less layers of paint that you have to do so it's less work for you. And two, that by having less paint on the stencil, your stencil is gonna come off a lot cleaner when it's done drying. Once you have your layers of paint down, you wanna make sure you give that cushion enough time to dry. You don't wanna remove the stencil prematurely and accidentally peel the paint with the stencil. Just like with our sneakers, we're gonna end this process with Angelus Acrylic Finisher. I'm gonna go in with a few layers of this because I wanna make sure it's got extra protection as people will be sitting on this and there's potential for wear and tear a lot more than sneakers. Sometimes when working with furniture like this bar stool, you'll come across faux or synthetic leather. After prepping, painting, and finishing it, it might leave a tacky or sticky residue on the leather. In order to combat this, you can use Angelus Neutral Shoe Wax Polish. You can rub a healthy dose of the wax into a rag and rub circles into the leather to create friction and help melt the wax. Taking a heat gun can also help even out the wax onto the seat itself. Once you're done with that, you can grab a horsehair brush and buff out the wax onto the seat. Your seat should lose that tacky feeling and the wax itself will actually create a layer of protection for the seat so that your work can last a long time.
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Brian Phillips. You can check out my work on Instagram at Swell Guy Customs and on swellguycustoms.com. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.